uh, we're here for our second season of our new TV show here. And we're talking to Scott, his stuff, Fury, uh, Fury. And we're here today talking about his video games that he has. So, Scott, would you like to, uh, how long have you been into this whole video game stuff? Oh, God, I think pretty much since I can remember. Uh, Nintendo was, <coughs> like, my first love. Like, I remember my cousins who were older than, than me and, like, when I was, like, before, like, I had any game system and going out and playing Atari and click with them and then, like, the uh, Atari, we were raising the Atari Yeah, generation. like, that, that was yeah. the first thing, like, the first system I ever played was, was Atari and, like, there's lots of Atari stuff here as well. We'll have a look at that in a little while. Yeah. And then, yeah, I went from Nintendo to now. So what would be your favorite console, would, would you say? Uh, so it has tossed between Nintendo and Super Nintendo. Yeah, I, I have to say. admit, uh, the original NES, when that came out, that actually, that just blew all the video games out yeah. of it, like, so what because, well, uh, kind of, uh, just ColecoVision, they were pretty close to the original NES, yes. with the light graphics, but their games, I thought, I found was short, like a Smurfs. Yes, yes. Yeah. Smurfs is a cloud. I don't know. <laughs> so I, and I have it, because I'm also into the video games. I don't have yeah. as much as you do, but I have a nice little hobby of myself, video games, and I love yeah. Smurfs. But it was, you know, like, it was the colors. It, yeah. it just kind of brought you into that world. But it was only like four levels. <laughs> you that guy going on. But anyway, so if that's your favorite games, that's pretty cool. Definitely. Uh, so how long have you been, like, a hobbyist? Where you decided, you know, I'm going to start uh, well, video games to collect. When, well, like, growing up, is ne it was never something, like, I thought about. And, like, I mean, I did, like, what I have now, I didn't have, like, no. anything. Like, I think <coughs> I had about... Like at most eighteen Nintendo games, like growing up, and like to me that seemed like an amazing yeah. amount. Like, I was I like, oh my god, I had so many games. Uh, and so, growing up, like I you know I was into like comics big time and video games. And then, kind of got out of the games when I kind of got into high school and everything. And then once I got out of high school, it was like, oh yeah, I can. It's not nerdy or anything, or it's cool to like what you like and enjoy it. But you know something, like, we are we are like around the same, same age, yep. and when we were kids, it, it was a shame to be a geek. It was it a was shame to be like, a nerd. I like remember in high school and stuff, and, like, like you really, if you talked about, like, playing video games and stuff, you were, like, looked down you on. Were like, you're, down. Yeah. You were picked on. You were bullied. Uh, and you were kind of a closet geek. And it's yep. funny now, because it seems like, every, like it's the cool thing now, but we, we were raised in a terrible... <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a terrible world. Well, yeah. God, like, oh, you like video games? But in the meantime, these guys picking on you, guess what? They were home playing video games <laughs> They still. secretly... They yeah. secretly uh, were closets, just like yourself. Yeah. And, uh, but now it seems to be a cool thing. It's like, because everyone got rights now, and that's kind of cool. And it's, I like where, where we're heading. Definitely. Uh, but, um, yeah. So you have a lot of video games. How many video games do you think you have here? Oh, my God. I, I do, like... Uh, to have something like this, you have to be really organized, so I do actually have a list of everything that I have. That's impressive. Uh, it's well over a thousand. Uh, well, yes, because <laughs> I've got 600 video games <laughs> in my collection, and like this blows yeah. my mind. You definitely, I see you got well, it's probably, probably 3,000. Yeah, it's probably yeah in the thousands. In the thousands, like, yeah. Because a, a number of the systems, like, there's, like, for P or PS2 and, like, Nintendo alone, I have 300 plus of each games for each system. Crazy. Uh, so, how long have you been as a collector, though? Like, two years, ten years, yeah, five I'd years? I'd say five years. Five years. That sounds like yeah, that's And you're a bit at par. If you're a serious collector, like, for five years, you would get this much. Yeah. I, I can see that totally. Because, like, I had what I had, and, like, I, and then I basically built on that. So then it was, like, pretty much anything that, you know, video game games, and then, like, memorabilia, anything kind of that's really Anything and everything. Yeah. And then obviously like, I have my series that are near and dear to my heart. And, everything. and you're into other things too, of course. Oh my the God, Transformers, yeah. and Star Wars, yep. and uh, He-Man. Yeah. Well, that, and that was sort of like, uh, I honestly believe that our time growing up, and um, if anybody's watching us that's older than us, or young, young, like, younger than us, like, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but no. the 80s was the time, man. Well, the late 70s, around through the 80s I, I was think, the like, time. Yeah, it's like for video games or like the cartoons at the time, like everything was, the and messages, every, yes. being a good person, like. Except for the anti-drug ones, <laughs> <laughs> that just sucked. But uh, not that drugs are good. I'm not saying, but I'm just saying like they were kind of cheesy. But yeah. like, but you look at we lived in the time that Transformers, which is one of the biggest franchise now. Yeah. We lived through that gen. Like when that happened, I remember sitting down and saying, oh, Transformers. 
and you get the Atari games that like Spider-Man, Superman, Atari games, which yeah. is a cheesy game, you know, when you look at it, but yet there's still something about it that is dear, you know? Yeah. That's cool. It's like, yeah, like I love Spider-Man, and if like on that screen there was like a blue and red, red? blob of a color, it could be a that square. was <laughs> nothing else, but I was like, oh, that was Spider-Man, and I loved it. Yeah, <laughs> Sp- or, uh, you know, Superman, or whatever. Yeah. Like, it was pretty, and like even Star Wars games back then, I found that the Star Wars games back when we were growing up for the Atari and stuff, yeah. better than the Star Wars games now. Because you use your imagination. Yes. I mean, you've got pixels. <laughs> you have pixels on a screen, and like a venture, for instance. Yeah. Venture, you are a square. Yeah. That's it. And you're going through these mazes and whatever, and you got to find your way through. And it, you know, it was good, happy memories. Right? Well, we we had to use our imagination. You had to use. Now there's no nothing left to the imagination. Imagination is one of those things that's starting to die out. It's there in the corner somewhere. So, yeah. Swept underneath the step. All right, Scott. Uh, so you got a lot of video games. Uh, we'll, we're going to pan through now so people yeah. can see your uh, stuff. And you also, you're also like most people in our age group, uh, like a movie buff. Yeah, I'm a big. I have a big DVD collection, big movie buff. Like that's basically yeah, like was movies and games. So maybe, we, maybe. Up. So maybe we should come up again sometime and talk about your movies. Definitely. All right, Scott. And anyway, Scott also hosts a. Uh, what our sci-fi kind of does all the transformer stuff and like the and like the video games stuff. and it's really big and they especially were, yeah. people had people has been asking for every time or oh, are you going to get that guy back uh, with like the, with like all the video game stuff or are you going to get that guy back uh, with uh, all the transformer stuff and your and your workshops do go over well yeah so look for uh, Scott again well in the summer 2012 <laughs> a year and a half away. I, I do know a lot of it yeah but it's fun to be this way it's yeah. very innocent. It's fun meeting people, uh, like other people who are into it. Like when you're into it, you're into it and you don't realize anybody else's. And like it's good to have, you know, that there are other people that are into it that you can talk to and enjoy it with. And, yeah, and to do, like, I mean, we were here now for at least one hour. Yeah. Just and, and we were just shooting crap <laughs> about what we like to do video games. And, and you know something that was funny, though? We were here for an hour talking about video games. And not once did, like, the PS3 come up, the PS2 or no. the PS1. I'll be talking it was the vintage, because to me, the vintage video games, I play video games, I'm an avid video game player, I yeah. love video games, but I still, like, the, like just, the, uh, just the classic ones are the ones that, that I want the most, you know? anything vintage. Yeah, that same way, well, it's like, now with the new system, <coughs> like, the downloadable games, the things, some of the things that are most popular now are the retro games, the that retro they're games. back and redoing. Well, everything. YouTube. James yeah. Nintendo, they're one of my favorite all-time guys. I never met the guy personally, but he's freaking funny. Yeah. And like he and like these people are making like it's like a franchise based yeah, on yeah. something that you know was in the past, but we're like we're kind of bringing it back to the future now, and it's really cool. But anyway, Scott, uh, we gotta go back to the future. I know. I had to. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's good to talk to you. Yes. Definitely. All right, and we'll be talking to you again, Have and uh, again. we'll come back. Well, if we got to change our clothes, we could do another interview. But, <laughs> but anyway, well, yeah. thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, this is our second season, so sir, you're going to be in our very first episode for our second season. Perfect. Thank you. Curse new.